Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, today I am sharing your top favorites for the month of January, and this includes both clothing and lifestyle things, whether that's beauty, some travel related things, things like that. I broke it up into kind of two categories, and I'll put a timestamp below, and what I usually do is count back from number 10 to number one. And if you're not familiar, I started doing these videos a couple of years ago, um, and you guys seem to really like them. Well, then I kind of stopped because a lot of things that seem like were always sold out, and sometimes that's still the case. Um, but I share these things like here on my videos and on Instagram. So that's where I pull the data from. I will put the playlist below of the other videos if you're curious month to month what everybody's loving. Because basically these come from items I'm sharing. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, what you guys love is the same thing I love. But a lot of times it is. But I always enjoy seeing what you guys um, are purchasing and what you click on. So basically I'm going to start with number 10. And it is this sweater. What's so funny is I almost wore this today. And I'm having camera problems, by the way. So hopefully everything looks okay and it's not too dark because it is dark and rainy out today. But this sweater, it is so pretty. It has like a slight little pattern to it. Um, it kind of almost feels like cashmere, but it's not. Um, but yeah, it's so funny. I almost wore this today. But you can see it's really just pretty red. I was actually looking for something like this. Um, around the holidays and couldn't find it in time, but actually found it not long after the holidays. But I thought, you know what? That's such a pretty red. It looked great for Valentine's Day or, you know, obviously I can keep it for next year. I've just really been in to red the last few months, as a lot of you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, like I said, because you've seen like the red shoes, the red bag, the red jumpsuit, things like that. So anyway, um, I'm glad you guys are loving that one as well. Number nine are these American Eagle um, jeggings, the white ones. Now you guys know I love American Eagle jeans. They're not all the same though. I mean, I've had some duds, but then I've also had some great ones that I've had for years and I absolutely love. They're my go-to jeans. So you kind of just have to hit and miss you know not all styles are the same but I love them because overall they're pretty nice they're a great price point if you get them on sale I typically buy the short length in all American Eagle though I'm 5'5 five five, and I find that always hits me right at the ankle where I like so that I can wear different kind of shoes now these are a little bit thin since they're the jegging I don't think they're see-through I have several pair of white jeans and I kind of just go through all of them depending on like I said, what I'm wearing. All right, number eight, it is no surprise these were a bestseller for January, but then the last couple weeks, um, and by the way, on Instagram, I always share uh, like the top five or six, sometimes 10, just depending um, on what's still in stock on over on my Instagram. And I've been trying to put it on the blog as well. It doesn't always make it to the blog and I share it to Facebook. So basically just what the weekly top five were. I love seeing that. Um, anyway, these jeans, I had shared these on Instagram and said they were probably one of the most flattering skinny leg jeans I have tried in a long time. And it's one of those, you know, I go out and I'm showing my husband, you know, and I'm like, oh, you know, I like these, what do you think? You know, and he's like, yeah. And he's like, well, they make your butt look good. <laughs> so he's like, sold <laughs> anything that makes the butt look good, especially for us, you know, when you're over 40, but really at any age, didn't everybody want their butt to look good in something? So these jeans, they're pricey. They were on sale 25% off when I purchased them. They do go on sale from time to time, but I'm telling you, it's things like this, that classic pair of dark skinny jeans that you'll just have for years and years that go with everything. I don't mind spending a little extra money for. And these, the fit on them, I'm telling you, like once you put them on, you're like, oh, okay, I can see why they're worth a little bit more. You know, I'm willing to spend a little bit more. Anyway, these are great. I did size down based on all the reviews with this brand. All right, number seven is this fuzzy like eyelash v-neck sweater. I love the sweater. I wore it a few times during the holidays because I had gotten it right before then and I shared it on Instagram. You guys went crazy for it. I tried to find some dupes because it sold out really quickly in that color and then when it came back, in limited sizing, you know, I let you guys know again, and it just keeps coming back and forth. I've mentioned that before, but that's always a great reason to follow me on Instagram too, because if something I've shared before comes back in stock, that is the first place um, that I will share it is on Instagram to let you guys know. So anyway, um, I did find something that was very similar that I will link. Um, it comes in other colors, just you guys liked this color. I don't blame you. It is so soft and cozy. It just looks really 
pretty. It's like you could dress it up, you know, with with other things, you know, with jeans, whatever. I just really, really loved this and it was comfortable too. All right, number six was this Nike sweatshirt and I just love this. I had bought this several months ago, just, you know, browsing. We went into Academy looking for something and it was right there. I always kind of look at the clothes and, you know, didn't wear it yet because I don't know if it just was not cold enough or the season or whatever it was. I mean, I'm seriously might have bought it before like the holiday season. Anyway, um, could no longer find it there, but I found it at two other retailers and most of the time it's on sale. I usually size up to a medium in Nike and I just love this one. It was like the perfect color of like blush pink. It does come in other colors and you guys really liked it too. And I love a funnel neck sweatshirt. Some of you may remember like several years ago, I would wear those couple from American Eagle all the time. I still have them actually because I can't very get rid of them because they're so cozy in the winter when I want something, you know, a little heavier. But, um, and they have not had anything like that since by the way there. But love this one and it like i said it's just one of those as soon as you touch it it's like extra soft and i'm a sucker for a good sweatshirt and you guys usually love when i share a good sweatshirt so number five were these joggers these are the old navy joggers i love them i actually just bought another pair of black ones so i have two gray a navy i just bought a black to me they are just like the perfect weight and they hold their shape pretty good like typically i can wear them like several days almost a week you know, lounging around the house, you know, changing in and out of them, whatever I'm doing. And they still look pretty good. I mean, they're not one of those I would wear out a lot if you want to work out in them. They're great for that. Anyway, these are so, so cozy. They do run true to size. I wear a medium in these. Number four was the red jumpsuit. So as soon as this came back in stock, again, it went out of stock shortly after I shared it in my try on haul in December. And then I wore it for a company Christmas party. Absolutely loved it. Um, that's kind of what I, it's funny because the year before I remember wanting a red jumpsuit and I couldn't find one. So I was still on the hunt this year. And when I saw that, and it was funny because I was on the fence about it, but you all were like, no, it's the red when I did that video. So Thank you guys so much. Um, I felt really good in it that night. Loved this jumpsuit. Can't wait to wear it again. I'm like really thinking of any excuse where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wear this again. You guys know I love a good jumpsuit anyway. Anyway, it did come back in stock. It seems to come and go because obviously it's popular for Valentine's Day. I did share some Valentine's Day outfit inspiration ideas um, several weeks ago and this was included in it. Um, but again, it's one of those check back and forth. I will list a couple of other options that I found that I would personally get. Um, cause I did, I think I found two other red options cause somebody had asked me before when I had originally shared it, um, and it was out of stock. Okay. It's out of stock. And I said, here, if I was getting a another one, this is the one I would get. So I'll be sure to put those below as well. So number three was this hooded cardigan. I had originally shared the black version um, that I wear it around the house for loungewear. I just love it. It does pill up. So the black one, um, I had mentioned, you know, I kind of wish I had gotten the gray. I got it at the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but it is great for lounging around. Um, it ties in the front. I don't know, I just love it. Number two was the American Eagle um, mom jeans. This particular pair, is so comfortable. It does have stretch in them, so I sized down one, but I could not get enough of these. They made it into my best of 2019 for my favorite items. It's one of those, mom jeans aren't the most flattering on a lot of people, myself included. However, they're so comfortable and being in style, you can rock them with different shoes and just make them work. I seriously find myself just wanting to wear them all the time. And number one was this dress from Amazon. And again, this color goes in and out of stock. I will um, link this one and I also have it in the cream color. It looks flattering on like every body type. It does run true to size. Um, I will link it wherever else I can find it. But when I link things from Amazon, keep in mind, I link the exact thing that I've tried. So if you find something somewhere else or it looks similar, I can't say if that's going to be the same thing because you know it may look exactly like it, but I have not tried that one. I can only speak for the one I have tried. But this is kind of like um, a dress that's going around at a lot of other boutiques. It's more money other places, but I will link it one other place that I think I have seen it if the black is not. Um, in stock. But again, it comes in many other colors. 
All right, moving on to lifestyle. Number 10 is the London Town um, Gel Top Coat. I actually just used this last night when I repainted my nails. This is actually an OPI color. I love this color. It's one of those just go-tos when I don't know what to put on, especially when I cut my nails back short. This is Lincoln Park, um, not at dark, at, at midnight, I think. It's I like this one better than Lincoln Park After Dark. It's a really deep purple. But anyway, the top coat I use with everything. I absolutely love it. It totally makes my nail polish last at least a week, if not longer, but usually a week. Um, my nails grow really fast, so I don't usually like um, to leave it on more than a week anyway because it grows out from my cuticles and then it just looks weird. So anyway, the top coat is amazing. I absolutely love it. I They did give me a coupon code for you guys for 25% off if you buy through their site. So I'll link that below. Number nine are these black and nude studded heels. And it's funny because I have the nude as well, but I find myself wearing the black ones more. Um, I just wore these recently to an event that my husband and I went to. I just really love these. Um, I had them on with that black Amazon dress. They are so comfortable for a heel. Um, they are a dupe version for the Valentinos, obviously, but there's enough differences that you know, they don't look exactly the same, but you still kind of get that look. And I never bought the Valentinos because I just wasn't sure if the price per wear was gonna be good for me. I didn't know how much I would wear them. Um, so this is a good alternative. You can often find them on sale. They do come in a couple other colors. Again, I have the nude and the black. Number eight is the Longchamp Tote. It was funny because um, just a week or so ago, I was looking at maybe buying another color. I have the brown. I'm always thinking about the navy. I really like the navy. So if you need any suggestions, those two are my favorite, the brown or the navy. I brought this with us on our recent trip to West Palm Beach. Um, even though I only took a carry-on, I found a way to shove it in there. Basically, it folds up, you know, is what's great. And I was gonna just use that as like my pool bag or like my day bag if I wanted a tote because I only brought one other small purse with me. And I just love that bag. It is great for trips because you never know when you're gonna need an extra bag or like I said, it's great for a pool bag or just a shopping tote or anything because it folds up flat. I just love it. Can't go anywhere on a trip without it. Um, and I'm glad you guys are loving it too. Number seven is this um, Sonia Kashuk makeup toiletry bag. I had shown this in like a grocery haul. So I've been doing some grocery hauls again lately for those of you that don't know, I used to do them. Um, but I throw in some other things here and there. Like I think the last one had like some random beauty, a toaster, you know, whatever, wherever it happened to be. So if like I'm at Walmart or Target and I need other things, then those will be in there as well. Cause I know some of you don't care about the grocery haul and I know they do get um, kind of repetitive for me as well sometimes. But anyway, this makeup bag, I just was really intrigued by this and you guys know I love bags. I love trying out different bags and I always use a different bag depending on the kind of trip I'm going. Well, I was. this would have been perfect for that three or four days uh, where you could put your makeup and your toiletries in this one bag. Like I could put toiletries on one side, makeup in the other, and I did that. I put it in there, laid it, it was still fairly flat. And I had shared this on Instagram um, stories of what I was putting in there. However, it was taking up a little bit too much room and just a carry on only. So it took up a little bit more room, but this would be perfect. And I am totally gonna use this on our upcoming vacation next month because I just loved the way everything packed in there so nicely. Um, so this was a good one. And then the next one is also a different kind of makeup bag. Um, this was a couple weeks ago, a bestseller of you guys. You guys know I love Vera Bradley bags. One, because they're lightweight. They are perfect for travel. I have several different kinds and sizes. And again, I use them for all kinds of things like putting phone chargers in and I don't use them just for like what they're supposed to be. So this large, I think this is the large luxury slash makeup bag. It is absolutely great. Again, you could put everything in it, your toiletry and makeup. I like them because they're kind of squishy. So depending on what you're packing, they'll kind of just sit in a corner of your suitcase really nicely. Um, so I can, you know, usually have them packed full. They're not weighing down my suitcase because they're lightweight in general. And I just love them for that. Number five is the Ugg slippers. <laughs> you guys saw these from my gift guide and I've just absolutely loved these. These like live on my feet all the time. They are totally worth the money, 100%, because think about the cost per wear. You're, for several months in the winter, you know, 
fall, winter, whenever. Like I'll probably wear these at least till March around here maybe. And the cost per wear, you're wearing them like every day. So I just love them. This particular style, I had always held off getting them because I was like, oh, I'll just wear my Uggs. Well, those are too bulky to wear around the house. And um, these are just absolutely perfect. Have absolutely loved these. Glad to hear you guys are loving them as well. I did size down half size in these, I think, or did I get a whole size? Let me check for you. I sized down to a six. I'm normally a seven. They don't come in half sizes. All right, number four was another Vera Bradley makeup case. This is just a different style. I think, I don't know, about a month or so ago, I had shared a Vera Bradley sale, and that's probably where some of these are coming from. And then if you watch like some of my packing videos, which I'll put that playlist below, it's like different packing essentials and all kinds of things, how I pack, all that stuff is in there. But this is a great one too. Again, I like different bags for different types of vacations, depending on if it's a road trip, if I'm flying, how long I'm gonna be gone, you know, what all I need to take, things like that. Number three is this Tory Burch Fleming bag. This one has been so popular, I keep seeing it coming up every month, and especially because around the holidays, she normally has sales, so you can get certain colors of this bag. I have the a nude pink color and the leather on it is just absolutely gorgeous. I was actually in the Tory Burch Boutique on Worth Avenue last week and they just, I don't know, I love going in stores in person for one, but they had some really cute bags in there again and they had several colors of this one, like an all black version, um, which was really pretty. So this is just a great bag, you cannot go wrong. Number two are the nude pumps. Those have actually um, been a recent weekly bestseller that I just posted um, when I showed the skinny jeans and an Amazon sweater. You can't go wrong with a nude pair of pumps. These are great. I have actually a couple of different pairs, but I just find um, I always look for a heel height, not too high, because as I'm getting older, I don't wear heels as much. I used to wear them every day when I worked in an office. Um, my feet are probably thanking me now that I don't wear them every day. So I need something semi-comfortable, semi you know, not too high, and that's what these are great, and I like a really nice nude leather too that just goes with some different skin tones. So these are absolutely great. And then the number one for lifestyle was the Billy Razor, which is so funny because I just did an update about this. If you have not watched it, be sure to watch my January um, beauty and lifestyle favorites and I do some product updates in there. There was like four or five things I needed to update about whether they were good or bad or just my changing thoughts on them. So I'll link that video here. Um, but the Billy Razor was the number one in lifestyle. It is an absolutely great razor at, I feel like, prolonging the shave because it does get a little bit closer. However, if you have sensitive skin, just be aware that it may be a little too close of a shave for you. Again, I explain more about my thoughts on that before um, because I did put this in my best of 2019, which I still feel that way, again, I've just had some changing thoughts and there's been reasons, but it is a great razor and for $9, you cannot beat it. If you guys have any of these things, leave me a comment below. Let me know what your favorites were or if you're planning on getting any of them, definitely let me know. If you're not yet subscribed, please do so. I would love to have you back. I make new videos every week. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.